They can't use mon pins. They are a gift from God. Why? Bree here, and I have to really applaud some people on their ability to craft the most hilarious and beautiful Amazon review. If you don't know what I'm talking about, never fear. I am about to enlighten you on the beauty that is funny Amazon reviews. So, um, first of all, this banana slicer is just, uh, great, clearly. Um, this is clearly necessary because it's so difficult to cut bananas with a butter knife. <laughs> Gone are the days of biting off sliced, sliced chunks of banana and spitting them onto a serving tray. At long last, there was a saliva-free way of slicing bananas. Thank you, Hutzler. Next on my wish list, a kitchen tool for dividing frozen water into cube-sized chunks. Beautiful shirts. This is just gorgeous. Unfortunately, I already had this exact picture tattooed on my chest, but this shirt is very useful in colder weather. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Oh yes, the great big for her pins. Because of course women need their own pins. They can't use mon pins. I love Big Crystal for her. The delicate shape and pretty pastel colors make it perfect for writing recipe cards, checks to my psychologist, I'm seeing him for a case of the hysterics, and tracking my monthly cycle. Obviously, I don't use it for vulgar endeavors like math or filling out a voter application, but Big Crystal for her is a lovely little writing utensil all the same. Ask your husband for some extra pocket money so you can buy one today. Okay, this one's my favorite so far. Oh yes, and whoever invented this laptop holder that fits on your steering wheel? Laptop holder for your steering wheel so you can write or use your laptop in the car. What is wrong with this? I just picked up my laptop holder from the post office and I'm dr driving home now. It's okay, I guess, but the bumpy road makes it hard to type and there's a lot of pedestrians and traffic that keep distracting me from my computer. It's probably okay for web browsing or email. But I don't think it will be so useful for more complex tasks. Oh, you can't make any sharp turns. So when you turn right some times, you have to use the opposing lane of traffic. Well, you know, at least he survived a press post. What? This is a sticker. This is a wall sticker of this old lady using an inhaler. Why? <clears throat> At first I wasn't sure if spending money on a sticker of an old lady with an inhaler was a good idea, but once I got it, I knew I had made the right choice. She keeps me company in my apartment since I don't have any actual friends. We eat, play board games, and watch TV together. We have so much in common, like our love for breathing and other things. She doesn't argue like real people do, and unlike a girlfriend, I don't have to take her on dates. Worry about keeping her happy, and she doesn't nag me for money. Overall, I am 100% satisfied with my purchase. <laughs> Good for you. I see nothing wrong with this product. Clearly. <laughs> it's great. The day... Uh, it is day 87 and the horses have accepted me as one of their own. I have grown to understand and respect their gentle ways. Now I question everything I thought I once knew and fear I am no longer capable of following through with my primary objective. I know that those who sent me will not relent. They will send others in my place, but we will be ready. I'd pay to see this movie. I'm invested in the storyline right here. Uranium ore. Okay, great. It is not cat food. Does anyone know if there is a cure for sudden tentacles? The cat's huge and well, doesn't really look much like a cat anymore. She still answers to Muffin though. However, if she rubs against my bare leg one more time, her new name will be Calamari. That is mean. <laughs> I, I, I kind of want context for this, but at the same time, it's really great without context. How to avoid huge ships, second edition. 
What was, what was the first edition like, I wonder? There is one major oversight in this generally well-written book, and that is that it addresses animate readers exclusively as a large rock in the <laughs> Tyrian Sea off the coast <laughs> of Jiglio Island. I have recently been confronted with instances in which avoiding huge ships was of fundamental interest to my personal well-being. However, the methods presented in Captain Tremor's book were none too useful in my efforts to avoid huge ships, as I was recently struck by a very large ship indeed, a cruise vessel called Costa Concordia. I think the ship came off slightly worse in the exchange, but the experience was disruptive to my afternoon and rather jarring. In a situation such as this, Captain Tremor's advice would have been immensely beneficial to humans, fish, seabirds, and other animals. But I am none of those things. I am a big rock. Wow, this looks intense. <laughs> I tried to file my nails, but in the process, I accidentally fixed a small engine that was nearby, which was nice. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that could accidentally happen with this. Crafting with cat hair. I am so intrigued by this. I purchased this book and was... <laughs> I purchased this book as I was tired of people sitting too near me on public transport. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, that would probably fix that. Bacon versus tofu. Alrighty then. I bought the bacon versus tofu toys on the advice of my psychiatrist, who recommended that I physically act out my act out to resolve my lingering conflict between eating healthy, which my mom wanted me to do, and gorging unrepentantly on food products comprised of 95% animal fat like I wanted to do. After eight short months of bashing bacon and tofu together in the bath, I resolved my inner conflict and released my food hang-ups. The key is neither bacon nor tofu wins. They have to learn to coexist peacefully together. Wow, I had no idea that this bacon and tofu toy could be so enlightening. Interesting watch. My family does a white elephant Christmas gift exchange every year. The price of gifts is limited to $20. I'm going to buy this watch if I can sell my house and pretend that it only costs $10. How much is it? Okay, I, I need to see how much this is. Uh, it's currently unavailable, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> the look on the person's face that opens this gift will be priceless. He, she will be begging someone to take it from them so they don't get stuck with it. I really hope my Uncle Steven gets it. <laughs> I will wait until I know that he has thrown the watch away in anger, thinking that someone just bought him a $10 gift before I finally fess up. It cost me almost $90,000. Dang, that's a lot. This will be awesome. Thanks, Satan, for selling your watch. <laughs> oh, that's Satan's watch. Great. This is a sponge. If I could give these sponges a million stars, I would. I love them so much, I couldn't even bring myself to use them. I drew faces on them. They are now my friends. And I have a little over 40 sponges. I am soon ordering more. I love these sponges. They are a gift from God. Wow. Oh, oh it is amazing. Love this. I hate my wife's cat, but it made my wife pretty happy that the cat can come into our bedroom at will now and claw the dogs while they sleep. I installed this in just a few minutes, threw some wood glue on to reinforce it, dried it for a few hours, boom, it's dirty and gets the job done. I hate that cat, but this door is pretty cool. Pizza pouch. So you can carry your pizza around your neck. This was a lifesaver during that time I was left for dead whilst hiking the Appalachian Trail. My friends abandoned me when I was engrossed in the Latran building. I was near starvation when I recalled my lucky pizza pouch hanging invitingly from my neck. I was able to ration bites from my mushroom, pepper, and onion, well done supplemental slice, until help arrived. I wasn't even hungry when they brought me back to civilization. That is amazing. That is a great, very touching story. Uh, which of those reviews did you find the funniest? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, also, let me know if you've ever left a funny review on anything, and please share that review with me. I love funny reviews. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, and if you want to keep watching, there should be another video popping up right here. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe to become a part of the ineffable community, because you are ineffable.